Are you concerned about the environment? Wonder what more you can do? Get worms, I say. I am a worm advocate, raising awareness about the benefit of using red wiggler worms to convert food scraps and paper into nature's finest fertilizer. I believe worms are going to play an ever-increasing role in waste management, soil production, and therefore food security. It's essential that we learn how. Vermicomposting offers an opportunity for anyone, anywhere, to manage their organic, organic matter on site. Vermicomposting is simply composting with worms. This cost-effective, simple solution is great for the planet and its people too. I'll demonstrate how in the next few minutes. In 1993, a teacher friend asked me to look after her worm bin for the summer. I was afraid of worms. I know, afraid of worms. I know some of you can relate. As an avid gardener and composter, I took on the challenge because I knew the value of the worm poo or the compost. Let's just say it didn't work out quite the way I was hoping that it would. <laughs> And when it came time to harvest, which is separating the worms from the compost, I put on big gloves. I didn't want to touch the worms. When I was finished harvesting the, the bin, I said I would never do worm composting again. <laughs> never say never, folks. You never know. <laughs> Not only do I have a lot of worms now, <laughs> I love them too. <laughs> I know, so fun. <laughs> Garbage isn't something that we spend a lot of time thinking about, but we do spend a lot of money on it. Did you know that Toronto's 2012 budget for waste was $345 million? In 2002, the landfill for the Greater Toronto Area filled up. When the landfill for the largest city in a country closes, it's a problem, a big problem. The, land, the, the garbage crisis was here long before it was here when the landfill closed. Now what do we do with the garbage from almost 6 million people? half of whom live in apartments and condos without space to do outdoor composting. Canada is second largest country in the world. So although we were a pretty large country, we couldn't find a place to site a new landfill, and we started shipping garbage to the United States. Can you imagine, not just out of the city, out of the province, out of the country? Bye-bye, garbage. Edward Hume, in his book, his book Garbology, talked about New York City and their garbage issues, and the $2.2 billion that they spend on garbage. Whew, $300 million just to transport the garbage around. Can you imagine? What a waste. Most municipalities spend more on their waste budget than many other parts of the budget. More than education, more than fire protection, more than parks and rec. It's estimated that one-third of household waste is organic matter that can be composted or worm composted. The solution to our garbage crisis is several solutions, one of which is vermicomposting. I envision the day when there are worms in every living space, worms in every house, every apartment, every business, every school, everywhere. <laughs> How do you like me now? <laughs> 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 Worm composting offers the opportunity to do, ver to do composting inside. So for all those half the people that live in Toronto in condos, now there's a solution for you. Worms in the house. I know, so fun. <laughs> so worms eat food. So uh, let me introduce the, the stars of the show, actually, the worms. So will any worm just, will any worm do? No, in fact, there are thousands of types of worms and only a few species which are optimum for worm composting. The, the optimum composting worm is the red wiggler worm. And here's some fun things about the red wiggler. They eat half their weight per day in food scraps, live up to 10 years, turn garbage into black gold. A group of worms is called a squirm. They're hermaphrodites, meaning male and female. Still takes two worms to reproduce. And each produces a co cocoon with multiple babies in each. Well, my favorite part is that worms have five hearts each. Five hearts, can you imagine? In a pound of worms, 800 to 1,000 worms, five hearts each. Four to 5,000 hearts in a pound of worms. It's a lot of love. And a great Valentine's gift. <laughs> I know. So fun. <laughs> how does this work? So what is compo vermicomposting? How, how does it work? Any container will do. It's creating the right environment for the worms. 
So the, just like outdoor composting, the worms require a carbon-nitrogen mix. The carbon is shredded paper, could be leaves, straw, cardboard, egg cartons, any combination of your paper products. And the nitrogen is your, your fruit and vegetable peels, coffee, tea, pasta, rice, so your food scraps. The food, it, the food scraps are buried in the bedding and, so that you don't get fruit flies. You rotate around the bin. It's about three to five months from setup to harvest and then it's time to separate your worms from your compost. The easiest way in a basic kit, if you're comfortable handling the worms, is the dump and sort. <laughs> As the name suggests, you dump your bin on a plastic sheet, put it in round piles. The worms are photosensitive or afraid of, uh, afraid of the light, so they go down into the piles, scoop off the top section, scoop around the sides. The worms will continue making their way away from the light. Once you get your worms separated, set up your new bedding, add the worms back in, and use the black gold to fertilize your plants in your gardens, or as a gift. <laughs> if you think that this is really cool, but you can't imagine doing the hands-on stump and sort part, haha, <laughs> there's a solution for you too. It's called the Worm Chalet. Invented right here, folks, made in Canada. The Worm Chalet, fantastic. How the tower composters works, there's a few varieties. The, the uh, tower composter takes away the need to harvest. So there's three trays, you start on the bottom, same as your basic kit, you have your shredded paper, you bury your food scraps. When the tray fills up, instead of having to be hands-on with the worms, as fun as it is, <laughs> you just set up the next tray, the worms will follow the food, so they migrate to the next level. By the time you get to the third tray, the first tray is done, you rotate your trays around. The, the benefits of using the tower composters, again, it takes away the need to harvest, and also there's a tap at the bottom of the, of the chalet or the tower composters, so it helps you manage your moisture. Tower composters have made vermicomposter more accessible to more locations because it's attractive. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> you can have this in your office, in your classroom, or in your kitchen, right beside your kitchen table where mine is. The benefits of doing vermicomposting are many. Uh, of course, you're extending the life of the landfill, allowing space for other stuff, saving money on hauling, saving money on buying uh, soil amendments, composts, uh, triple mix, etc. You can feel good about what you're doing. This is a hopeful solution for climate change and global warming. And we do feel good about when we're doing that. What makes the castings so special, the worm castings? That's a fancy word for worm poo, by the way. <laughs> so research shows that adding castings to your plants increases plant yields reduces soil erosion, increases water retention. There's uh, an insecticidal pro property to the castings, so it helps prevent plant diseases. It adds microbial, microbial life into the plants, which allows the nutrients to be taken up into the, into the plants for, again, increased yields, better flavor. Lots of benefits for doing worm composting. While I was researching the red wiggler worms, I discovered that a pound of worms and their descendants could transform a ton of organic waste in a year. And that the average family produced a ton of organic waste in a year. And I thought, every home needs a pound of worms. And I'm just the one to put a pound of worms in every home. <laughs> and then I discovered that people were afraid of worms, like I was. But once you realize the wonder of worms and what they can do, your fear turns to awe. Worms are transformative. They transform garbage into black gold, which creates wonderful soil for more healthy plants, which creates more nutritious food, food for, more, for healthier people. Worm composting closes the loop in our food cycle by creating soil so we can grow more food, and then the scraps are returned to create more soil so we can grow more food, so we can make more soil. Help me realize my dream of a worm bin in every living space. Tell everybody about the possibilities of worm composting. Thank you.